So I said I wasn't going to buy any more tools, right? But it is what it is. What's up, YouTube? So this weekend, I took a drive down to a tool store downtown KC, which has been there since the 1920s. It goes by the name of Harry J. Epstein Co. It's an old 1920s building, has shelves and shelves of old tools and new tools from all around the world. A lot of USA made tools. It's really like the biggest candy tool store ever I've been to. So when I went there, I checked out their new SK38 LP90 low profile ratchet. Um, this is model 80200. This thing weighs about one pound. It has a the new uh, 90 tooth mechanism inside inside of it. It's dual pole. Garnet Tools did a really good review on this ratchet um, a few months ago. This is an eight inch ratchet also, by the way. And he tore this apart and he sh he showed the dual pole feature inside of here, and he also showed the flaw with this uh, ratchet. Um, with mine, it did the same. I had the same problem he had, where this aluminum selector kind of sticks. Like you really have to give it some force to move it. So the fix he did, I may have to apply myself. He opened up the ratchet. He stretched out the uh, return string, uh, spring in it, and then he also oiled all the moving parts inside of it. But I mean, it still sounds pretty good. It's not as crisp as, say, my Snap-on F80. My F80 uh, just sounds real finer, like it has re like finer teeth than this 90 tooth ratchet by SK. So I'll give you another close-up of it. This is the new SK 3.8 ratchet with the teardrop design LP90. Also model 80200. Now this ratchet, uh, I believe on SK's site, sells for about $77. I paid $58 at HarryJEpstein.com. Um, being local in Kansas City, I just paid for it online and picked it up on Saturday. So I really want to pick this up because I've seen it, but until I felt it, I knew I had to have it. And this is my first SK tool in my toolbox. So after picking up that SK ratchet, uh, it was about 20 minutes before they closed. They closed at 12 on Saturdays. To register, I saw this little inspection light by Coast. This is the uh, G20 model. And this is only 10 bucks. It's just like one of those You know, I'm at the register, why not? I like coasts, I like flashlights. This is only $10, so I had to pick it up. I think it's only like a 90 lumen flashlight. So I picked up the SK LP90. Picked up this little inspection flashlight by Coast. And then as uh, me and the owner were talking, <clears throat> I told him, yeah, I never knew about the store. I wanted to pick up this LP90. And he's like, oh yeah, there's a new ratchet that just came out from SK. <laughs> I was like, shut up, take my money. So today I'm going to show you um, this ratchet that I don't think anyone's shown on YouTube yet. This is the new SK800-720. This ratchet is about seven and a half inches long, you know, half inch shorter than the one I showed you before, the LP90. Has the traditional, you know, round ratchet head. It has the diamond knurling that SK is known for. Also has that same uh, super chrome finish, just like the LP90 and this one, to uh, prevent uh, corrosion. 
Now, SK brought this out with their new DT80 tooth mechanism with 80 tooth, um, dual paw, I believe. And I didn't own this ratchet, this type of ratchet, but you can just buy the DT80 mechanism. Harry J. Epstein sells it for, for about $15. SK, I haven't checked the price, but I'm sure it's more than $15. So if you have this style of head of the older SK Ratchet, you can just swap out the 80 tooth mechanism which um, from the old one that you have. And this one sounds about the same as the 90 tooth one. Actually, this actually feels better. But it has uh, the same traditional selector very smooth. I don't know why they didn't do it with this uh, LP90, but this selector is, I mean, pretty smooth to move. So, this one's also made in USA. If I can get that to focus. Just like uh, made in USA LP90. So I paid $51 for the brand new SK, what number is this? This is 800 720, by the way. This is fairly new release. I don't think anyone on YouTube has really showed this one. Really nice ratchet. This actually feels, believe it or not, feels almost better than this LP90. But I don't know, I, I kind of like this handle a little more on the, the LP90. So I picked up both of these ratchet, the 80 tooth and the 90 tooth, just because I've, I've always been curious about the uh, SK ratchet, especially their round head design. Um, this one is more, you know, low profile for tight spaces. So if you compare like my LP90 to like my F80, if you can see there's a difference, <laughs> a substantial difference between the uh, low profile and just the regular F80. So I picked up this one, the 800-200 SK 82 ratchet with the new DT80 mechanism inside of it. I was going to open this one up, but someone beat me to it today. Another YouTuber actually did the DT80 swap. And you can see the, the whole dual pole uh, mechanism inside. You can see how the exploded version of this is. So I picked that up along with the Coast flashlight. And lastly, um, while he was showing me the 800-200, uh, he showed me this one. Uh, this is the quarter inch. <laughs> this thing is four and a half inches. This is probably the, the smallest quarter inch ratchet or a ratchet period that I own. This thing is four and a half inches. And you can get in some really, really tiny places. It has the same head as the uh, DT80. But this is the DT120. This has a 120 tooth mechanism inside of it. Still doesn't sound as smooth as my snap-on, but still feels good so I mean you can only really put like three fingers on this ratchet and this one's model 800 700 I only know if my camera can pick that up this is 800700 so if you look at them you mean <laughs> this thing's tiny Look at that. But I had to have it. Same features. It has the uh, diamond knurling. It has the uh, traditional uh, SK round head design. DT120 mechanism. Super chrome uh, patent finish. But yeah. He, he showed me this one, but when I saw this one next to it, I had to pick it up. And this one, I think, was probably... 
I want to say it was like 40 bucks for this little smaller ratchet. But this will be, <laughs> hopefully, one of my last set of uh, ratchet purchases. Because I'm pretty stocked up right now with ratchets. But I love them, so I buy them. So guys, I hope you um, enjoyed this haul. This is just part one of, you know, the stuff I got. This is, this is my Harry J. Epstein haul. Stay tuned for the other hauls that I have coming up. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, this is just part one of the haul. Stay tuned for the other hauls. See ya.